Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. I love creating AI images, they're a ton of fun, and one of the things I like to do is face swapping. It's just a lot of fun and seeing what kind of crazy things you can create. And so, a lot of it can be expensive, especially if you go to like Mid Journey or some of the apps you get on your phone. The face swapping apps can be expensive, and the image generation tools can also be expensive. So I'm gonna show you how you can create some really cool images using Dolly 3 through Microsoft Copilot for free, and then how you can actually do some face swapping in the web, on the web, absolutely free as well. So let's jump into it, and here we go. All right, now first things first, we need to go to the copilot.microsoft.com page so that we can access the copilot web page. And here it is, it, this is it, copilot.microsoft.com. It says copilot, your everyday AI companion. And you can see I'm actually logged in. Now I believe you are gonna have to log in with a Microsoft account to make this work, but you don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to sign up for a subscription, you just have to simply log in or sign up with a email address. All right, I already written, I had already written out a prompt, so let me just go ahead and paste it in here. And it says, create a photorealistic image of a strikingly beautiful biracial female World War II tank commander standing up in the hatch holding an American flag. So let me go ahead and hit submit, and then it's gonna start working, and we'll see what we get back as far as an image. And it's working, you can see it says, I'll try to create that. And you'll notice there that the box pops up where it's working on the images. And you'll see right here, it says powered by Doll E3. So we are actually getting all the benefits of Doll E3, but free. So that's just really kind of cool. So, all right, it looks like it's created a few images for us here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna click on this one right here. And there we go, we can see that we have the image. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and click this little section right there. And I'm gonna click that, and it's gonna allow me to then change it to landscape if I want to. So I'll go ahead and choose landscape. And you'll see it says recreating this image. So it's not gonna be the exact same image, it's gonna recreate it a bit in a landscape sort of uh, format. And there we have it, there is our, uh, our uh, beautiful World War II tank commander holding an American flag. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose looks good. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and download this and save it. And I'm actually gonna just go ahead and rename this tank. Now I wanna swap a couple of other faces as well. I, I'm gonna show you just how I get this done, but I wanna make a couple of other images. So let me create a few other ones and then I'll show you about the face swapping. All right, so I went ahead and created a few images, and now all you need to do is get a few faces that you wanna swap. So if you wanna use your own faces, you can use your own photos. If you wanna use faces of your friends or family, or if you wanna use a celebrity or something, you can go download them. So now I grabbed a couple of celebrity photos that I wanna swap with, so let's jump in and I'll show you how to get it done. So first things first, we wanna go here to this website, which is AIFaceSwap.io. So it's AIFaceSwap.io, and it is free. You don't even have to sign up for anything. Just click right here where it says um, star face swapping. I think they meant to say start, but let's go ahead and click that. Now, first things first, you wanna go ahead and put in the, uh, the photo that you want to, uh, that you wanna face swap to. So I'm gonna click this. And I'm gonna go over to my, uh, to my folder that I created. And here we are, so I'm gonna choose the tank photo first. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And there we go. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and go back over here and I'm gonna choose uh, Gabriel Union. I downloaded a photo of Gabriel Union. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that right there. And now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click Face Swap. And it's just gonna take a few moments. You'll see the timer going right there. I think it says it might take around uh, 106 seconds because I'm number eight in the queue. So you'll just have to wait for it to finish up and you'll, you'll notice that as it's ticking down and you'll know the queue change, you'll see the queue change so you'll know how you are in uh, as far as what place in line you are. All right, it is processing and it looks like it is almost about done here and we'll take a look at our results when it's finished. And there we go, we have our output, look at that. So um, let's go ahead and download it 
and we'll just save this. We'll call this tank swap. There we go. And let's go ahead and go back into it and we'll open that up. And there we go. That is the one with Gabrielle Union right there. And that is the original. You can definitely see the face is swapped out. Now I have seen better swaps than this, but that that's not bad. It's definitely not bad. All right, let's try uh, let's try the other ones here. Let's go ahead. We'll click out of that, and we'll click out of that. Let's add in another one. Let's go to um, let's go to the cyborg one here, and there we go. That one looks pretty good. We have this other one there. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. Let's go with cyborg three here. We'll click on that, and then let's go ahead and swap in Natalie Dormer. So we have her headshot there and we'll swap that in and we'll click face swap and we'll wait for this to go through. Now again, depending on how many people are online using the service at any given time, will determine how long it takes for your face swap to go through. Right now I am like three of three in the queue. So it's gonna go a lot faster than when I was eight of eight. All right, it is finished and I can see it already did a pretty good job. Let's go ahead and, uh, and click and save this and we're gonna call this Cyborg 3 Swap. And we'll go ahead and save that there. And let's go ahead and take a look. And let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's Natalie Dormer right there. That is the original and that's the face swap. So yeah, you can definitely see her in there, which is kind of cool. So not bad. Not bad. Now this one, you'll notice here, this one did a little something weird with the chin because this one has the, the, uh, the person has like sort of this weird chin right there. And when they swapped it out, it didn't really reshape the chin. So if you wanted to, if you were going to really use this image, this wouldn't really be much to go into, uh, into, uh, Photoshop and just use like the healing tool to sort of just get rid of that right there. That wouldn't take but a second. So yeah, but this one here probably would work better because there's nothing weird on the chin. So uh, actually, let's do that. Let's go ahead and actually put in, um, let's actually put in Cyborg 2 right there. We'll swap that out. We'll, we'll do that one over again just to see um, if it works out any better. All right, it looks like it is just about done processing here. So we should be able to take a look at the output in just a moment. And there we have our output. So let's go ahead and download this and I'll call this cyborg to swap and save that and let's take a look at it here and there we go we can definitely see her in there so that's the original and that is natalie dormer there so now it did take some of the armor out of her face you can see this is the original that has armor all over there or the cybernetic stuff and the uh, and the face swapped one, it seemed like it was trying uh, to heal it or take it out or something there. So, but it's definitely still there, still looks pretty cool, and it still definitely works. So, yeah. Now there is one other one that I wanted to try, and this is because I'm not sure if it's going to work well, but it's because I wanted to talk about um, choosing the right sort of faces to match. So. If you're creating AI art and you're doing, gonna do some face swaps, you wanna try and choose uh, faces that have similar shapes. Now, they don't have to look exactly the same or even the same at all, but you want someone that has a similar face shape. So if someone has a very rounded face, then you wanna find a image, like if you're creating AR, AI art, you wanna have someone that has a very sort of rounded face so that they match this shape. If someone has a very thin face, then you want a very thin face. If someone has a very sort of triangular or blocked off face, you just wanna make sure their face shapes are somewhat similar. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh the page. And now I'm gonna go ahead back in here and I'm going to choose French Lady 2. And there we go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and choose Anna Diarmas right there. So there we go, we have her. And you can see these two are sort of different. She has more of a, of a longer thin face. She has a bit more of a rounded face. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose swap and we're gonna see how this is working. And it looks like I'm first in the queue. So this shouldn't take very long at all to get this one uh, all the way through and finished. 
And there is the output. So let's go ahead and save this. And we will just call this French Lady 2 Swamp. And let's go take a look at them and compare them and see how they look here. So there is the swapped image and there's the original. So you can definitely see that her face is more round where this woman, the original woman's face was much more uh, sort of angular and contoured, but it looks pretty good. It doesn't really look a lot like uh, uh, Ana de Armas to me, but it definitely, once you see it in there, it's definitely bit, a bit more her. But generally when we see her, she has a much more fresh face look and this lady has a lot of makeup, a lot of, uh, a lot of blush on, a lot of heavy eye makeup, which is not really Ana de Armas style. So um, yeah, but it's definitely her in there somewhere. So. That's it anyways. It's it's kind of cool. It's a lot of fun to uh, to play with. It's a lot of fun to do some face swaps in there. And again, this service is absolutely free. You can use Dolly 3 uh, via the Copilot app, or you can use any other image generation app you want. You can even use real photographs to put in there and swap out faces. So if you want to put your face on Superman or Batman or Black Panther or whatever, or if you want to put their faces on your bodies, have at it, it's a lot of fun, so yeah. All right, that's it. It's been a longer video than I anticipated, but I hope you enjoyed seeing it. All right, everyone, well, there you go. That is how you can generate free AI art and face swap absolutely free. And you can do this on your computers, your tablets, and even your phones, all free. And you can either use the web or you can actually download the Copilot app. And then you can go to the AIFaceSwap.io website and you can use the website 100% free. There's no signups, there's no subscriptions, there's no logins, and as far as I can tell, it is completely unlimited so that you can use it however you want, as much as you want. So anyways, I'll leave links to everything down below in the video description so that you can check it out and have some fun with it. I'll also leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.